Hi guys, welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice, little motivation. That's all you're going to need right now, guys. Motivation on this stock is killer. 5.5 million shares traded back and forth, right. Like, that's really the volume on this stock. No one's selling. I don't give a shit what you tell me. Sorry, I'm going to start cussing right now. I'm that excited about it because there's nobody selling GameStop. I actually talked to a lot of you guys today. Some people sold off other positions to buy more GameStop. But like I said in the little video that I made today in my truck, hey, guys, do not sell GameStop to buy damn options. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. I don't care what the gamma squeeze ramp do you want to build uh, coming. You're selling off the underlying asset of the thing you're buying. So it's counterintuitive. Don't do that. That's dumb. But AMC, on the other hand, if you're going to grab it, go ahead and bounce. Guys, these two stocks on the 14-day RSI are like the lowest I've ever seen. It's like 28 and 29. It is going to bounce eventually. Yes, you'll get a little rub. I don't know how high it's going to go, but I'm not looking for support. Can we just put that out there right now? I know AMC can fall to 20 bucks. Once it hits 20, it's going to trigger those stop losses that people have right behind that. That's on them. I don't care. I'm not ever going to buy back in. I'm not doing that because I don't believe in that company. Right? But for the company that I do believe in, GameStop, for say, um, all you guys who own both, get off my goddamn back. I don't give a shit what you own. It's on you. What I do care about is giving you the truth and the fundamentals of what I own, which is GameStop, because that's the channel. So look at GameStop, guys. I'm going to explain something to you. One, doesn't matter where it falls down to. If you're in it for the long run, like most of us, like I am, and the fundamentals will outpace everything. I promise you the fundamentals will bring this stock back up. And it is. Guys, I don't care. Wed Bush went over here and said that uh, GameStop is a $45 stock. If you look right here, uh, 45 new price target from 50 to 45. So if it fell down five bucks, you already had it undervalued as it was. Why are you dropping it five more bucks? Like that even matters. Nobody listens to your crappy ass estimates anyway. The analysts that I'm not looking for, there they are. But look at this stock, please, guys. 135. What the hell are you looking for? Oh, I'm going to wait for it to bounce, let it get stable, and then I'm going to buy it back in. I'm going to buy in. I'm going to run on it. Are you a day trader? If that's what you are, if you're not diamond handing, then you're in the wrong company. You're in the wrong, you're in the wrong trade for me. But that's just where I'm at, guys. I literally, this is the greatest entry rate you're ever going to find uh, within the last seven months. That's for damn sure. So what a good play for a lot of people that are going to get in it. And if you want to go ahead and paper hand it at 300, 500, 1,000, I don't care what you do. Just get your ass in here and then figure out how great this company is. And I'll, and I'll get you there. I'm not selling. I'm not selling anytime soon. Certainly not at the prices you're looking at. If you think I'm selling at five figures, you're talking to the wrong guy. I know what the hell the stock is worth. I really do. And fundamental-wise, it's worth five figures. So what the hell am I going to do if it were going to squeeze, right? And I don't even talk squeezing. Uh, let's look at it, though. 40% short. 40% is the float right now on GameStop as far as what their short interest is. Um, negative 2.82 beta. Looking great on the stock itself, guys. I saw a projection that GameStop's only going to make, like, uh, I believe it said $5 billion dollars. In um, 2023, they're going to make $5 billion right now, and that's just off a of default. Like, there's nothing. They, they can fall flat on their face and still make $5 billion this year. So you're going to tell me in two years that we're not even going to have an increase? That's crazy. That's crazy. But people are worried about the variant, and people are worried about the economy. You're going to have the Fed talk. I believe tomorrow Powell's going to come out and talk interest rates and those tapering. It's the middle of the month. It's the 14th. Biden money comes out on the 15th. You want to buy more shares? Keep the price at where it's at. And then we're going to get that Biden money on the 15th and buy more. If you guys don't know, if you have the child care, whatever it is, the child tax credit. But let's look at these two stocks. I really, you know, I put these charts together because this is for everyone out there who thinks they run together. Um, they didn't start running together until June. So right here at this peak here in June 1st, uh, the run up for AMC is when it just started mimicking GameStop the whole way. This is the criminal stuff right here because one is unlike the other. And, I, and I'm telling you guys, the amount of volume it takes to mimic GameStop's movement is wild because GameStop not only had the most volatile run of your lifetime back on this date here, and I say this date here because we were up to 350, 347 actually at earnings, and then look at the drop all the way down here. I think we got all the way to 160, 150. That's a crazy drop rate. That's a $200 swing from a stock that should not move that way. But this is what tells manipulations here. So this little little swing here from 255 to 130, that's trash. It's 120 bucks. I'm not worried about it. It's gross, but it's not going to make me feel any different about this stock. I know what I own. AMC's finding out what they own right now, and it's ter it's terrible. But hey, we're supposed to all be together in this? Well, hey, how about this? You keep holding yours, I'll keep holding mine, and we'll see who does better. But I know he's going to do better because I look at stuff. I look at this, $1.6 trillion almost on the reverse repo rate. 
Banks are afraid to park their money over there, and I would be too. But when I look at GameStop, they have something that no other stock has. I know the SSR is on for both stocks. But GameStop has this, guys. This is crazy. This, these are 70% short interest traded. That's the percentage of the float that's trading right now on any given day, the volume. 70% of it is short. We know. Yeah, AMC has 50 and 60. They're right there. They're, they're crazy short right now. 84 million shares traded back and forth. Yes, the shorts will cover. And then at what cost to them? Five, six dollars, eight dollars on the stock. The volume's crazy. 84 million shares? Yeah, they can cover any time. They always have been they had this ability. They had the ability back in June when it ran up, and I told everybody they covered half the shorts there. And now they're going to do it again right now on this run. And how can they? Because you can recycle those shorts and get right back. And they know the game they're playing because you're diamond handing the wrong thing. But hey, if you are, I wish you the best of luck. I really do. Me personally, I look at this chart. I look at GameStop dwarfing everyone else here. I see AMC on here. I mean, come on, AMC and NVIDIA. Those are two great companies, and everybody wants to buy them, apparently. Apple, people are buying and selling. And Apple's about to hit $3 trillion, right? Back and forth. They can sustain it. Lucid, what a terrible company to buy right now. I'm, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not convinced on Lucid. I'm just like I'm not convinced on Rivian. Deliver more cars, please. Your, your market cap can't be $10,000 per car you deliver. Or in, in Rivian's case... Uh, $100,000 or a million dollars for every car they deliver. But Tesla's up here too. But GameStop's unreal, guys. No one's selling. You and I are not selling. We're literally buying this dip. We're eating it up. Uh, guys, get ready for what it is. But for all you out there, naysayers who think I'm crazy, my channel's FUD, don't watch it. Don't watch it, man. I just speak the truth and I give you the facts. Facts are GameStop is the catalyst to this whole damn movement. You want to get on other stocks, there are other stocks, right? The Prague and the AMC. And costs, and after a while, over time, you will find out what the exposure is and who really is the big player on this field. And then the fundamentals of the company will push you over. Don't let people tell you that things are progressing and things are getting better elsewhere until you understand the numbers yourself. I have plenty of videos on the page, on the channel that you can watch. But I know 1,700 people that watch this channel every week. You know what they say? All these guys own AM, uh, GameStop, by the way. And they all say the same thing. They're never going to sell at these prices, and they wish they had more money to buy right now. So not only will I sell my children, all my possessions, I'll sell my soul for, the more, for more GameStop right now. And if you're not with me, you're against me. It's that simple. But I'll tell you what, GameStop. It can't stop. It won't stop. GameStop. I'll see you around, millionaires. I'll be live on Thursday, guys, all day, seven hours. Get at me.